Yeah, yeah. We've all heard beauty requires sacrifice. But does it really? Like with everything else in life, maybe there's some kind of loophole. Stay tuned for 10 fun beauty hacks. Mmm, Chelsea loves the process of getting ready for a date. But not for the actual hassle of it. Oh man! Mike's gonna be here in five minutes and I'm not even close to being ready. I can't go like this. Why didn't I plan better? I should have gone to the salon. Kira, what am I gonna do with my hair? Wait a second. What if I try something I saw in one of those hair vlogs? Getting awesome hair doesn't require going to a salon. Starting today, Chels is just gonna start taking notes on those YouTube channels, planning her hair and outfits ahead of time. Let's see what she's got in mind. This is looking pretty strange so far, but at least that cup matches her shirt. Maybe it's a party hat clown look? Mmm! Nope, you guys are just gonna have to trust me. See? Fast, easy, practically effortless volume. And no salon required. Great job, Chels. Makeup is definitely its own game. In theory, you just have to study the color wheel to make sure the shades you choose complement one another, and application techniques to make sure that nothing runs, cakes, and is highlighting and sculpting your face where it's supposed to. Chelsea did her due diligence, so that's not where the problem lies. Paying close attention to what you're doing. That's the simplest and most essential rule of makeup application. There's a place for gossip, but it's like they say, you can't be in two places at once. Sorry, chatty Chelsea. We tried to warn you, but you were unavailable. So, let's see how you're gonna get out of this bind. That's right. The fourth rule of makeup application, and pretty much anything else in life, oscillates between finishing what you started and knowing when to stop. Looks like Chelsea chose the former, and she did well. Great films are known for eliciting emotions. Sometimes they make us laugh, other times they make us green with envy. Man, those are some great tats, Jess. You look awesome. Jess, what did you do? Your mom is gonna kill you. Don't listen to her, Jess. Zoe's just a little goody two-shoes. Yeah, parents aren't always fans of the teenage rebellion phase. But who said anything about that rebellion being permanent? The trick here is picking out something that's either classic or trendy. De-oiling your skin with some perfume or rubbing alcohol. Using warm water. And you've got yourself a mild but cute rebellion with minimal consequences. Looks pretty real, right? Zoe! Zoe! Wake up! We all got tats while you were snoozing! Guys! How could you? How am I gonna get this off? I can't believe I didn't feel anything while I was asleep! Zoe, I think it looks great. But you can borrow my or water if you want. Jeez, you guys really freaked me out. Plus, you didn't peg my ink preference right. If you'd given me a heart, I'd have happily worn it for a while. Just because I lost my beauty blender doesn't mean I'm gonna lose my reputation for having perfect skin. Aw, oh, man, did I really forget how to use my fingers to apply foundation? Fine, I'll just use my backup sponge. <sighs> Good thinking, Natalie. Hey, Ben, can I borrow that for a sec? Borrow? How do you borrow food? Just share, okay? Okay, so Nat's definitely not returning this sponge, but check out how well it's working. And... No matter how much of a sweet tooth you've got, content yourself with having done a great job and do not try to wash it off and eat it. Even if it seems like nothing is going according to plan, keep calm. 
stress is not only harmful to your health, but causes premature aging. And we know that's not something you're going for, is it, Jess? If you keep a spoon chilling in the freezer, anytime you do your shadow or liner, you can also have a mini eye bag depuffing sesh. Great job, Jess. Maybe you should start your own makeup tutorial channel. Ready for our next hack? It's a good one. Ash, I finally beat that level. <gasps> oh, sorry, Ash. I'll fix it. Here, let's try this tissue. There's a simple rule that applies to not only the people doing your makeup, but also your hair. And to pretty much anyone helping you with anything. Take a good look at how good their own hair and makeup looks before allowing them to touch yours. Otherwise, you just might regret it. Oh, those late night beauty sessions. You're tired and want to do nothing more than veg out in front of the TV and fall asleep. But you also want to sleep in and not deal with this in the morning. While Ash is fighting to stay out of the sweet dream kingdom, Chelsea is dealing with the consequences of greed. Sales are great and all, but if they don't have your size, don't buy something just because it's on sale. <gasps> Chels, you're a genius. This is just what I needed to salvage my horrible tip job. Even, fast, and it looks perfect. Mmm. Ash, if I had known any better, I'd have thought you ran straight to the nail salon in your pajamas. <laughs> Lips are a big part of the having a nice smile equation. And it looks like the time has come for Melanie to try and balance that equation. <gasps> yup, looks like it all wore off. I really need to invest in a long-lasting lip gloss. This is what I'm talking about. Apply, reapply, and it's gone before it ever really did anything for you. I should have just gotten one of the ones where you could just pop your finger into it. Well, Tube, you're not gonna beat me at my own lip game. Fork incoming. That's what I thought. Mm. Mel has got a little problem with not putting things away ever. So she's always living in fear. The fear of never knowing when it's going to be time to pay. Yep, throwing things wherever instead of just putting them back where they belong tends to lead to unpleasant consequences. Then Murphy's Law inevitably kicks in. And, well, if you just put your things back, Mel, you wouldn't be dealing with this right now. Careful, Mel, shake them all out and actually organize them. And maybe get around to finally reading that Marie Kondo book. Tidying up was your New Year's resolution, was it not? Nice. I think I found a place to keep my bobby pins. A place that will bring them and me joy. Good job, me. I bet the magic of tidying up doesn't teach this genius hack. Oh, fine. Maybe I'll make it my New Year's resolution to read it for the third time in a row anyway. Whatever sparks your joy, Mel. Ashley is big on makeup. Unfortunately, her blush brush heard about the more natural makeup trends and has been refusing to cooperate. Whatever brush, nothing's irreplaceable. No, this is not the sculpted look I was going for. <sighs> Matt, I need your help. There's a brush mutiny going on. Thanks, girl. You and I have always had a telepathic connection. 
Now, let's help my brushes follow suit. That should teach you guys. Nice. Looks like Captain Ashley is back to ruling over her shipload of makeup accessories. It's blooper time! Hit that subscribe button, share your favorite tips and hacks with us in the comments, and remember, a little creativity goes a long way! See you soon!